Hello again, everybody. My name is Dale Dufay, and right in front of me is, whoop, I'm gonna turn this way because there's like garbage that way. I don't wanna show it. <laughs> there's Mary, morning, Mary the everybody. Magnificent. How you doing, Mary? I'm doing awesome. Got my Red Bull, right. getting ready to go to work. Woohoo! Hey, by the way, do you get uh, money from Red Bull? No, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you know, you at least show my get... shirt off, my new shirt. Yes. <laughs> but right behind Mary is some of the stuff we've been doing uh, back to the theme of this video uh, we got the concrete caps on and uh, some of the detail work on the posts and column we still have to finish that and a little bit of work up inside on the roof area of the porch but that's all done and uh, this is this is why I didn't want to show we got all our piles of garbage there uh, keep telling the landlord we need a dumpster we need a dumpster uh, but what else did we do in the meantime we got the shed done yeah we got yeah. it mostly done yeah uh, we got it dried in let's just say we were able to get we had all our material the stone and everything in this area under a tarp and we were able to get that in, a sh in the shed uh, so uh, we're still waiting on the stone that's why we haven't started on it uh, which is just as well because we still have stuff to do uh, like the shed we uh, basically got to oh and we lowered these handrail rails which made we had to take the base detail off and i'm gonna uh, notch the top, uh, back of that base and put it back on uh, but we got that done uh, but coming around here on the north side of the house this is where we put the shed it comes out seven feet and goes between these two windows this is the front room window and then comes across 14 feet and we have a, a typical you know just a sloped roof on it that's with a 312 pitch and then uh, we still have to finish framing it out and put the door on and this is the back bedroom window there uh, we got the door and everything it was amazing we were able to get this high quality door with a, a real nice glass in it uh, it was uh, on sale and it was cheaper than the the cheapest door yeah, they had. Yeah, the same as this door. Yeah, so it just matches the other door on this edition. Uh, but we see, look at all the room in here. It's just amazing. We're going to insulate it today. Well, first we're going to finish out the framing and then insulate it, walls and ceiling. Uh, the door up. Stall the door, of course. Got the concrete. Yeah, let's, let's show that we did a real nice concrete pad for where the door goes. That was did that like two days ago, so that should be real nice and dry. But that's real nice. That's like like four inches thick, and it's uh, perfectly level and everything. And that's that'll be eventually the entire inside of the shed will have a cement floor. We just wanted to get it all dried in now. And then our stairwell is to the basement is going to be in here as well. Uh, so this, that's why we strategically put it on this end of the house. Uh, but look at all the stonework we have. Uh, to, you know, naturally, they gave us the top ledge, which we installed last. <laughs> and uh, uh, then we got the outside corners. But those have to go on first. But we want to wait till we get the field stone so we can... Uh, uh, well, what I mean by field stone is that stones that go into the decorative stones that go into the field area they call it uh, so but yeah we're going to get this insulation up today um, finish door. framing which includes the door area uh, but we did get it all in one day we did get this all uh, put up and the sheathing on and the roof on we got the roof and everything uh, and I still have to put on uh, this flashing uh, or oh, I, I think the, oh that's all over here sorry I hope you didn't get dizzy there <laughs> Uh, but I put all the flashing and everything's underneath here. And uh, uh, it, it, we got to use that roofing as well underneath the flashing. But it's so tight up under there. Uh, we had to go 104 inches up from the ground, which put us about 8 inches from the soffit. So the nailing guns and stuff barely fit in there. Right. Uh, so I might have to glue the, you know, caulk the flashing in. Uh, but there's, it's really nice. It turned out really nice. And... Uh, essential again this is going to be really essential because their stairwell going into the basement is going to be there because you have to have a exit for the basement if you're going to you know, remodel it or put rooms down there or, or anything like that you have to have a way for to get out uh, so uh, just wanted to keep you up to date i hope it's been yep. 
pretty, we've been busy every day. We yesterday it kind of rained all day. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, uh, Mary's been keeping up with the yard and everything. <laughs> the leaves, <laughs> I should say, right? Yeah. Man, uh, there's leaves all over. So uh, we've been busy every day and we haven't had a chance to post these videos and upload them. Uh, so we managed to get one done today. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> today being Saturday. It's kind of a chilly day, but it's a beautiful day here in southwest Michigan. We're supposed to have some more unseasonably warm weather next yeah. week. So I sure hope the stone gets here, because the minute the stone gets here, uh, we're going to wrap the house with that house wrap, put the Dura Rock up uh, where the stone area is, which is going to be about, um, I think it's going to be right about here, you know, in relation to the window. Uh, it's been, from there on down all the way to the ground it's going to be stone dura rock and then the stone uh, and then we're going to tape once we get the house wrap on we're going to put that really nice yellow tape around the flanges of the windows so nothing will get through nothing nope. so uh, but anyway is there anything else you want to say mary before we nope, end I, this video I I guess you cool. I'm, I gonna, I'm sorry about that okay. ah! turn slowly i just want to show the shed <laughs> behind you that we worked on. So what else you want to say, Mary? I just we... want to say thank you, Donna, for buying Dale's book. I'll get it sent out as soon as oh, I can. Yeah. It's ready to go. Yeah. Appreciate that you. very much. I thank you. And... I, oh, I just wanted, for Donna's sake in the book, uh, I just want, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't have a chance to write a note and put it in an envelope before I sealed it. <laughs> but I just wanted to say that a lot of things in the book I don't really believe in now, you know, so I have, to, you know, so there are some things that are, that are different, uh, but it is, it is a pretty interesting read. I kind <laughs> of put it together and got it done before Christmas. I, me I can't remember what year, 2019 or something like that, uh, but uh, it was pretty hastily written and not <laughs> well written, I may add, because, uh, because, um, well, for one thing, I'm no author. <laughs> and I'm not a very good writer and I wasn't very good in English class either so anyway Mary <laughs> back to what you were saying after Donna's I just want to say I love you guys and thank you guys for watching these videos and giving a thumbs up in the comments and I'll have links in my description if anybody wants to make a donation they'll be in the description box and they're much appreciated and much needed, and I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Love you guys. Stay safe, guys. All righty. So with that, we thank you for watching, and we'll talk at you later. Love you.